OK, and joining us in the Beko kitchen today is Chef, who serve royals and US presidents as well, JP Guerin. How are you? How are welcome. You Thank welcome, you. welcome to New Zealand too, by the way. Thank you. This is pretty special, Mark, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm a bit nervous today. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is going to be fantastic. And you basically work on one of the smallest gourmet mobile kitchens on the planet. That's absolutely right. And I'm here to actually bring a Tesla Rocky Mountaineer to New Zealand. Oh, love and uh, today we're going to be doing a beautiful uh, salmon. This is going to be a dry cure salmon yeah. with a vegetable and potato salad. And it uh, drizzled with a nice vinaigrette. It, this is actually the kind of fare we serve on Rocky Mountaineer. So we're very excited to be there to share it with you. No, and I'm really excited you are here. And, and, and we'll learn more about the Rocky Mountaineer as w when we're cooking. Because I was quite fascinated last night when I started looking. I was like, yeah, awesome. So uh, we'll come back very soon and find out more about his incredible career on the Rocky Mountaineer. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen for a Canadian-inspired dish this morning as we're joined by JP, the executive chef of luxury train, the Rocky Mountaineer. What a fantastic job. Do you love it? Absolutely. This yeah. is, you know, this is fantastic to be there, to be able to share all that, yeah. you know, cookery with us, uh, with you. Yeah, no, no, it's good that you're bringing a taste of the Rocky Mountaineer here. Next time, can we do it on the train so I can have a, have a visit? <laughs> well, that, absolutely, you can, you know. Okay, cool. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> let me explain to you what we're going to be doing today. We're yep. going to be doing a, a cured salmon, so we'll have Canadian salmon. It's cured with a smoked salt, mm. and it's being served with light vegetables and potato salad. Then we'll finish it with a vinaigrette. Oh my God, beautiful. And the smoked salt, you, you do as well. Yes. yes, so the smoked salt is something very special. We take some, some nori seaweed yes. uh, that we actually do ourselves, yeah. and then we smoked it, and we crush it with some sea salt, and we had some juniper berry, uh, you know, the juniper mm. berries that have yes. been uh, powdered and, you know, ground quite coarsely, and that becomes our, our, our salt. Most of the spice we do on Rocky Mountain here, uh, we uh, will actually, you know, you know, sell them to our guests as well, uh, as a memento of when they when they come back from the trip. It's quite unique, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah you know. That is so good. what we'll do is we we take the salmon, and then we're just gonna cure it with that salt. Okay. So you put some salt over it. You know, like you have to be a little bit generous. Oh, you're not right? getting there. No, you just have to be generous. You let it though, and then you're gonna let it sit. Yes. Your salt will draw moisture. Okay. And you're gonna let it sit like how this long, for, how long for. You know, anywhere. If you like it very salty, then you leave it for like two, three hours. Okay. If you like it lightly salty, you leave it for maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. Really? It's really up to you. So we do that on board. Well, you know, we do other preparations. You know, in in for the dish. Uh, now, it, it, when you see on Rocky Mountain here, see where we are to work, right? Yes. This is our viewing platform for right. our guests. Yes. This is where they actually heat, okay, you know, cool. right up there. Right. And our galleys are right there, located <laughs> right, right, right here. There. No windows. <laughs> <laughs> so you are working in a very small kitchen producing small kitchen. gourmet food. Yes. But and how long have you been there? Well, 10 years. 10 years, you must love it. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look at my office. I mean, look at yours. I mean, look at the window from uh, the view from my yeah. office. <laughs> I mean, the Rocky Mountaineer and, and the Rocky Mountains. I mean, this is you can't beat that view. No, right? you can't beat that. And we'll, we'll find out more about that trip very soon. Mark, okay. how are you going? Is this quite an experience getting to work with yeah, yeah, so no, this Mark, is, Mark this is, awesome. is basically doing his vegetables. So good. We'll, we'll do that. That's good. We'll good. good. We're putting going. him to work today. Yeah, yes, right. thank you very much. You know. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to stand back today. What's yeah. the pros to it? Poor Mark usually has to deal with me cooking. So. Does he? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's Don't right. let him on your train. All right. So we'll put I'll this, be on the viewing platform. We'll put the salmon away for now, and then we'll okay, just cool. until... Yeah, cool. Ready to go. It can be cured over there. And what do you like about this dish? Quintessentially Canadian, isn't it, with the salmon? Very Canadian. Like, you know, again, we, we having a, we're starting with a beautiful product. Yes. I mean, we don't really want to do anything to it. We don't want to smother it with a whole bunch of ingredients that would actually kill the, the actual taste. Right. Right? So we actually just slightly salt it and we'll do a, a nice vinaigrette to go with it. it that's all it needs to do. And the I mean, salmon's sockeye salmon, isn't it? What you use in uh, Canada? Well, this one is, is actually a coho product, oh, yeah. you know. But uh, yeah, we will use sockeye. We'll use coho. We'll use. Um, we won't use chum, but you know, we'll use uh, um, uh, steelhead, which is a salmon. You will, some people will call it trout, but it's debatable. Uh, it is also a, a salmon, classified as a salmon. So basically, we'll use whatever is fresh in season. Again, mm -hmm. part of our, you know, we will all, always use the freshest ingredients mm. local that we can find in. British Columbia right. or in the western part of Canada. 
I mean, that is our main date. Yes, and, I, and I'll tell you what, we're going to learn more about the Rocky Mountaineer. And just like the train, we are well on track to finishing this up. It is full steam ahead with a beautiful vista of beautiful vegetables in front of us, just like the vista you see out the window of the Rocky Mountaineer. The vegetables going nicely, yes. the salmon's cured now. The salmon is cured, so now we're going we're gonna to proceed to cook, cook our salmon. OK, nice. You know, so we'll just, you know, put, like, all our pieces of salmon in a oh, pan. Oh, you go that way up first. Yes, okay. always do. Uh, normally, you always cook. The world. Yeah, you always cook your salmon the side that you're going to present it. Okay. So we all never present your salmon skin side up. You'll present skin side down. Right. So you are going to cook that side first. Oh, right? okay. So now that salmon has been cured. It's uh, we're going to we're going to cook it to about medium to medium rare. Again, some people like it rarer, some people like it more cooked. That's really up to you, your pre your own preference. Mark is doing a, a vinaigrette with granny mustard that we're going to be incorporating after that. Well, it's it's going to be cold, incorporated right. into a warm vegetable and potato salad. Okay. And serve the salmon. Right. And um, what, what do you think of this vinaigrette, Mark? Is the first time you're making JP's vinaigrette here? Yeah, it is uh, under the careful eye of JP. No, it's yeah. good. It's really, really simple. So you've got olive oil, vinegar, mustard in there. So you just, you know, do it to your balance. Keep tasting it. And you can play around with the quantities. You know, that's, that's what perfect. you got. Okay, cool. See, look, I've learned how to, I've learned how to do that. You, you're doing very well. You. You, you're working in a space about equivalent to what we have oh, to work in. Oh, on, on and the how many ships right? have you got on the train? Well, this year we're going to have about 120. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a big organization that we need to uh, make sure it runs uh, smoothly and well, effectively. Well, well, I guess food is a very important part of the experience. Mm -hmm. but, but explain more about the Rocky Mountaineer for me. Where is it? What happens? What's the experience like? Well, the experience is, you know, it's, it's a luxury, you know, travel a train that goes through, uh, you know, from Vancouver to the Rocky Mountain of Canada, the Western Rocky Mountains. So we basically have a train that goes from Vancouver to Banff, Vancouver yes. to Jasper. Yes. Those are the big wow. national parks, absolutely beautiful wheels. So I have a, a train that will go from Vancouver to, well, to Vancouver to Whistler to Jasper. That's a northern train called the uh, RGR train. Right. And we have another train that goes on to Seattle. Wow. Okay, so well. beautiful scenery. A yes. wonderful part I mean, the of the scenery, world. it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, yes. on, a, on any given days, you'll see absolutely snow-capped mountains. You'll oh. see bears. You'll see, you know, you'll see salmon in the rivers. Uh, we try also to tie in the storytelling of our guests with the right. actual food that okay, we cook I love on that. board. Yeah. You have three chefs that will cater to every 60 to 65 guests. In these cars, as wow. we mentioned, you have three chefs. They'll do all what you need. We nice. you know, so and what, turn the salmon. So the why is time. the food an important part of this experience? Well, food is such an important part. You know, food is part of culture. Right. Right. And our culture, we, we basically have Western Canadian culture. We have those beautiful ingredients. We have all the towns. Uh, you know, like Vancouver is a little bit more like a little bit like what you have experienced here in Auckland and, or in Sydney and, and yeah. Australia is. You know, we have a multitude of people coming in from different backgrounds. A lot of Asian influence in Vancouver. So obviously the food is very much fusion-like, you know, mm. Western mixed with Asian influence. It's, and that's really what it reflects to. And that's also with all the ingredients that we have to offer in BC, which is not just the seafood, but, you know, everything else. We have all these vegetables. We have, you know, beautiful meats from Alberta and everything. I mean, it's endless. Well, that, so. that sounds like an incredible experience. So you're on the train, you've got these beautiful viewing platforms to look at, and then when you're ready for a superb gourmet dinner, you just go down, you go like down. you're at a high-class restaurant. And you have five main mm. courses to choose from. It's, you know, like we, our chefs will pretty much cater to every, every one of your need. If you have any kind of dietary requirements or anything else, oh. we'll take care of that. Nice. It's like a okay. real restaurant on wheels. It's a restaurant nice. on wheels, yeah, yeah, yeah. high-end high restaurant yeah. on wheels. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, um, what do we need to do to finish this off? Well, we're just going to very slowly now, you know, that salmon is starting to look like it's going to get cooked. It smells incredible. Is, so we're going to have to start plating. All right. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna, well we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah sweet. We can. Everything's yes. ready. Well, that's right. Well, I'll tell you what, this is exciting. You guys start plating that up, and we'll see the finished product very soon. Um, absolute pleasure, JP. Thank you. And Thank I'll tell you. you what, incredible food, incredible journey. And if you would like to enjoy the sights and scenery of the Rockies, then book an incredible trip on the Rocky Mountain Air. I'm so pleased you came here to explain this to us today. And today is your last chance to get a $600 credit. So there you go. We are looking after you here at the cafe. To find out more, go to the website, rockymountaineer.com. And now it's over to Mark and JP to taste what it's like to eat on the luxury train, the Rocky Mountaineer. Are you happy, boys? Yeah, yes. this is good. We're just bringing it together now. We're just plating it up. So we've got oh, all we're plating all these vegetables. 
You know, so we're going to have a little vegetables on this. Then we'll just slowly remove that. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to have one salmon that I'm going to take and have the salmon oh. on top. Oh, yes. Right? If you want to stay here, it stays right here. Mm -hmm. Now we'll have to put a little bit it. of that shaved fennel. So we have a shaved fennel, a finely, very finely shaved fennel that's going to go on top of that salmon. Perfect. A little bit of that smoked salt that we have. That's a little bit of smoked salt and a little fennel. Beautiful. And then the drizzling. Uh, but over the top and around. Yeah, a little bit of oh, That's beautiful. Look at that. Excellent. Fantastic. Now, don't Fennel. forget the fork. Mike's hungry. There we go. Oh, Mike's hungry. Oh, wow. Yum. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you, JP. Absolute pleasure. Mel, you oh, can be the honours later on.